Hi all, this is the 9 bot G30 controller. This is a scooter and this is the new controller because the old one has some problem with the wiring that were uh, burnt because of uh, high current. So they change the connection with uh, screws and this is how it looks. And if you open it, you will see that it looks like this. And the question is, how do you disassemble it if you want to go further to the electronics? Because there is a heatsink here that is catching all the uh, six MOSFET because this is three phase controller. So you have two for each phase and this is uh, how it works. And you have a microcontroller here that was also changed from ST-Link to AT, which is another company that is, that is using the same uh, CPU, the ARM CPU, the ARM core. And probably the burning is a little different. By the way, there are no uh, uh, scene programmer a connection but I, I think I found them and I think I know how to burn this one directly from the ST link but I will tr need to try so the question is how to disassemble is very difficult but I did able to do it so I will show you how it looks after you disassemble it it look like this so you have this part that was very hard to get out and this is the all the screws and this is basically the, the PCB yeah and you have here a captain tape to isolate the metal of the MOSFET not to do a short between them because again each uh, phase is different from the other and here we have the controllers that I talked about and it was very difficult to take this out. It took me a lot of time. I need to do it because I wanted to see what is going below this one. And as you can see, you have here, uh, probably this uh, are the bridge connectors. The bridge, I mean, this is the driver for the MOSFET. And I could find also the MOSFET. Uh, they are using MOSFET. Okay, so the MOSFET in use is called MDP1932, which is 80 volt, 120 amp, and it is N channel trench MOSFET with 3.4 milliohm resistant that is capable of, of very high current. And uh, about the pulse drain current it can get to 480 amps which is a lot a lot a lot of power and uh, these are DC to DC probably to make the the low voltage for the CPU and here are all the controller it is going to the controller of the uh, main controller of the G30 also to uh, other things like, uh, you know, uh, what we have else. We have the battery connection and we have a lamp that is going to the rear side of, of it. And you can see also because of the high current, they added a metal here, probably a brass or something that is capable to deliver high current because you cannot uh, count just on uh, the PCB here, but also on the PCB they added a lot of soldering paste in order to make it much thicker than uh, the usual uh, thick of the PCB. So you can see all the big area with a lot of of uh, soldering, uh, soldering paste and uh, it's all, you know, it's, it's big size you can see on the edge it's a uh, it's sick and here we have the XT60 
connector which deliver up to 60 amp from the battery and basically uh, this is all what I want to show because I didn't find anyone that disassembled this part and try to take it out like I did so probably this is the first video that you see about it so that's all thank you and bye